I'm Nala Ray. I am the Ahago Queen. What is the... How's it pronounced? A? Ahago. Huh? The face, basically. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you will? Uh, okay. Da -da -da. That, that's the other one. <laughs> that's the other one. Okay. I'm dominant. You're dominant? Yes. What? I'm daddy. You're daddy. Uh-huh. Whoa, wait. Show the tattoo to the, the camera right here. It just says daddy. Yeah. Did that hurt? Daddy. I'm daddy. I f girls with strap-ons. What the f- what? This is what makes me more dominant. Wait, what? I would f a guy, but they're too scared. Do you date men or women? Oh, I'm so, so, so attracted to men. Like, I need Like, when I'm drunk, like women. When I get drunk, it's like, titties. I'll do whatever the f I want. It's really hard for me to take advice from people that I don't respect, and I don't respect a lot of people. Have you been diagnosed with No, and like I BPD really don't think I should go to the doctor to be like, Yeah, you're probably told fine. I'm when you say you're dominant, do you mean, uh, what are we talking you here? Know. I feel like my masculine energy is higher than most men's masculine energy. Like, even in bed, I would literally f*** you until you were doubting your sexuality. I also tried someone who did what I did, and it, I turned them basically gay, so him until he became gay or something. I swear to God. Ooh, well, listen, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Okay. I just f you and f you. I'm sorry. Lay you and lay you. <laughs> until, you know, <laughs> like you're like, oh my God, I have no more inside my body anymore. <laughs> the f is wrong with this lady. Like, you'll never want to cheat on me. I love cheating. It's actually my biggest fantasy. What the hell with all this? It's not that fucking difficult. You're with someone or they're with someone. I don't even have to be with someone. But if you're with someone and you have a girl, I'm going to sit on your feet up and be like, isn't my pussy tighter? Isn't it better? Isn't that just hot? Yeah. I have a competition yeah. in myself. Like, I just have to... I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've 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 been with a nympho before, and um, if 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 she is anything like the the nympho I've been with, bro, that shit is crazy. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. That shit is crazy. I'm talking about like you ever at at some point in time you gonna feel like you the man because you cracking somebody and like. They might bust like over twenty times, just, and then you be like, "All right, I'm good," and then you bust, and be like, "All right, yeah, you should be good," but then we want to keep going, and be like, "Yo, like, we been, we been fucking for like, like two hours. You, you not good." Yeah, 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 just one more, one more, one more, one more. Like, are you not good? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like, uh, at the at that point in time, I was able to keep up. Now, you know, I don't, I don't got that in me. But at that point in time, I was able to keep up. And I felt as though all the other dudes that she was messing with was never able to keep up with her. So once I was able to keep up, you feel me? Uh... That kind of her attraction to me was a little crazier than than it should have been, um, to the point where, uh, yeah, I ain't even gonna go down that road. But some some wild stuff happened when I was like, yo, we can't we can't keep fucking with each other. Um, I still would like to say women like her are crazy. Stay away, stay away, stay. Away because what they gonna be trying to do is make you fold. Um, two, as if she's admitting that she's a cheater. Any woman that has a, an ab abnormal obsession with sex. Now I'm speaking to the men, but it goes for men too. But you know, it's hard to it's hard to really. No, it's not because this niggas out here, they weird. Niggas that have abnormal obsession with, with sexual activities, they're weird. Like, they'll, you know what I'm saying? They're weird. They're weird. But women that have abnormal obsession with sex, sometimes you're not even going to be able to tell until you actually start having sex with them and you get in a relationship with them. Those type of women, 
you can't you you can't trust them because they cheat. They cheat. So she says she loved to cheat. She can't help it. She cannot help it. Those are the type of females where if they see you and they like you, they gotta f you. If she sees somebody and she like them, she gotta f I know a motherfucker like that, bro. I know, I know, I know a female like that, bro. Like, she catch bodies. She's a serial killer. Bodies! Bodies. Today I was at a coffee shop with a friend and I saw a stranger that I thought was really cute and I decided to go up and ask them out. I was hacking myself up for like two minutes because the thought of rejection terrifies me, but my therapist says that I should start doing it in order to meet people, so I, I approached the stranger. The stranger was sitting with a friend, I went up to them and I was like, hey, so sorry to bother you, I think you're really cute, I was wondering if I could get your number. They look at me and they go, oh my gosh, I am so flattered, that means so much, thank you, um, but I'm, I'm actually straight. And I said, no worries, and I walked away and um, I, I didn't tell them that I am a woman, a trans woman, but I didn't say that. Cause you a man in a dress. Like, you a man in a dress. I'm 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 sorry, bro. I might fuck around and get canceled for some of the shit I say, but you can't expect people to view you how you view yourself. You cannot expect people to view you how you view yourself. So you offended that this man Looking at you on the outside saw a man in a dress. <sighs> the idea of being rejected and having someone assume my gender felt safer to me than me standing up for myself and saying the person I'm actually gender. a woman. I have a deep voice. I wasn't wearing any makeup. I'm wearing a cute outfit though. So, you know, there's... And that. your dick showing! And your dick showing! Your dick showing! You wear a poo poo shirt and you, you, you got a bulge. He got a bulge. This isn't an everyday occurrence. It still hurt. It is what it is. We're not meant for each other. There are lots of other people out there who see me for the way that I see myself, and I'm excited to continue to find those people. Uh, and I'm still hot, so. Definitely gave you dates. That. Let me tell y'all something. This, if, 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 listen, listen, men. If, uh, such people approach you and you're not interested because you're straight, do the same thing. Because what would happen is that let's say you try to be nice and you're like, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings, you know, and you, you gave me a number, right? Now, this person has leverage to try to expose you for something that you're not. This person have leverage to try to expose you for something that you're not. Now, I know I tell a lot of stories. Now, I, I believe I told a story before where this young lady went to this uh, this uh, athlete's house. Now, the young lady was a woman. She was born a woman. But her cousin that accompanied her was trans. Was a transformer. A, a, a Decepticon. Okay? Came to this man's house. Accompanying his his her friend who was a woman, and while her friend and the guy was outside, was in the room, you know, fooling around doing what they was doing, the Decepticon proceeded to take their phone, walk around the house, take pictures, take videos, and you know, pictures next to the family and the. The trophies and you know just walking around the house being free being you know because the guy was like hey man you know you you good go ahead 
I'm not, you know, I'm not judging, da 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 Have fun, right? Well, a few months later, the Decepticon decides to try to blackmail this athlete. Well, successfully blackmail the athlete. Because it was one of them situations where it's like, nigga, if you wasn't out here fucking with me, then how did I get in your house? How did I, how was I able to show myself just walking around your crib freely and doing this, that, and the third? Huh? And then on top of that, I believe homie had like a girlfriend. So it was one of those like, not only are you going to get exposed for cheating... But you going to get exposed for cheating with Megatron. So your relationship will be over and your career will be over. All because he was willing to accept homegirl's friend. So no, no, do not go against your principles. If you're not attracted to a man in a dress, you're not attracted to a man in a dress. Like, don't let society try to change the way you feel or the way you think. I don't have no problem with the trans community, bro. I don't have no problem with the... I don't have no problem with the LBGTQ community. I have a problem with motherfuckers like this. I have a problem with this. When you try to make me feel bad for not being attracted to you, you weren't born with a 